Hi, Mark with the Headman Performance Group here. And this video has been prompted by the large number of telephone calls and emails that our tech department have been receiving about how to install an oil filter into their LS system. Most, most projects are using an aftermarket pan like the one that we have over here, as opposed to the cast aluminum pan that comes from the factory. And there's a lot of factors that come into that and could be ground clearance, could be clearance uh, for other components like a cross member, um, or it could be added features that an aftermarket pan provides that a factory pan cannot provide. Now, the, what happens though when you go with an aftermarket pan is you lose the location that the oil filter goes uh, and these pans here, an aftermarket steel pan, handles that with a pair of uh, dash 10 AN fittings. What you need to figure out though is how you're going to get the oil from the engine to a remote filter and back again and that's exactly what these Transdat kits uh, handle. Uh, each kit comes with a, uh, a remote oil filter base. This one here is a single unit right here. You also have a double unit right here, which adds uh, the oil capacity and gives you diff uh, double the filter uh, media to clean up the oil. Uh, one of the deals that you might come across with an aftermarket oil pan is that in order to get more ground clearance or component clearance, they sacrifice some uh, oil capacity. So by adding a double fist, uh, filter system like this here, uh, you'll recover some of that lost oil capacity. So what else does the kit have? So we have oil uh, lines, we have the uh, remote base, we have a pair of 90 degree fittings like we have here. These are dash 10 AN that are gonna get hooked up directly to that pan. Now you wanna inspect the inside of the, the fitting itself as well as the nipple on the oil pan. Make sure that there are no nicks or, or, or damage to those fittings that will cause leaks because it's a mechanical fitting does not use any uh, thread uh, Teflon tape or anything uh, metal to metal seals the way that these AN fittings work. Uh, it comes with a pair of uh, brass half inch NPT fittings that will screw into the remote base. These do take a thread lock uh, thread uh, tape and you want to wrap one and a half to two rounds of Teflon tape around the fitting but starting from about one thread up, you don't want it right at the end. You don't want any of this, this, uh, the tape to get into your system and blocking any orifices. So start up away from the end of the fitting, go around one and a half to two rounds, and you'll have a good seal. Um, it comes with your fitting, uh, the nipple for the oil filter that gets screwed into your remote base. Each base has four holes. You have two inlet and two outlet. So it allows you to decide whether you want to have both your lines coming in one side, the other side, or in one side and out the other. It depends on your configuration, what your, your uh, setup allows for. So in that case, we provide two plugs that are going to go into the holes that are not being used. And these as well need to use Teflon tape. Go one and a half wraps around and then install and that uh, is going to be a, a good seal. Very simple as far as the tools they need, just need a couple different size wrenches here. We got a 7 8 and 1 inch which will take care of both of the fittings and then you'll need a 3 8 inch, a 3 8 inch uh, hex key that you can use for the plugs themselves to install those. Other than that, it's very simple. Less than a half hour, uh, we're installing this kit on a, a C10 chassis. Uh, so there's plenty of, of space. We don't have the cab on it yet. Uh, Larry has decided he's going to be installing this onto his chassis instead of the uh, instead of the cab itself. So to learn more about this, uh, you can visit us anytime at www.headman.com, or give our tech guys a call Monday through Friday from 8 to 4:30 p.m. Uh, Pacific time, and we'll answer your questions. Thank you very much for watching.